Hi everybody and welcome. I'm going to show you how to make this really cute um, Mother's Day card. First you're going to need um, a piece of cardstock 11 by 5. You're going to need one 11 by 5 and then what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your scoreboard and you're going to score it at uh, five and a half. Okay, and then we're going to fold that in half. We're going to crease it. And then we're going to take another piece of cardstock, um, well, two pieces that are five and three eighths by four and seven eighths. One of them, um, you just want a solid color. And the next one, you want a pattern paper. Um, I didn't have one, so I just made my own because it will look better um, on here if you have a solid color when it's folded over. But if you want white, you don't have to do that. And we're gonna glue this first one to here with just leaving a really tiny border. And you want to make it so that uh, your card will open this way. So I'm going to put some glue on here to make this fast. This idea was from um, Scrapbooking With Me. She makes a lot of really nice cards and um, hop on over and her out and then on this piece that has your solid one you're going to want to um, bring this over and find the middle which should be two uh, what is it? the measurements are on this. Let me see. I'm going to kind of fold that a little bit to get a crease. That's what I do. And I just pinch it there. So the score mark will be two and five fourths. But you don't want to score it all the way down. You only want to come down um, two and a quarter inches. just have a little crease on that and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut that right here we're going to cut where we scored and then you're going to take the corners and you're going to fold them back I'm hoping that you can see this Fold them, try to keep them kind of even. And then we're going to take the other one and do the same thing. So now your card is like that. And then I'm going to use a different sentiment on this one. The other one said Happy uh, Mother's Day. I think I'm going to use happy uh, birthday on this one. So what you need to do is you need to put your, um, oh and I messed this one up too. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh no I didn't. I thought I went the wrong way. You need to put your card on here and you can put a light pencil mark in here and here to see where your sentiment's going to go. Um, with a Mother's Day stamp, I had to cut it so that it would fit. It was too long. I'm going to put my stamp in here. You can mark this, but I'm, I know pretty much where I'm going to put it here. I'm 
just going to use this as my template instead of marking it out, but you can do it that way too. That's the way she does it, but I'm only doing the one sentiment here. And then what I'm going to do that on mine is I'm only going to glue around here because then you could use this pocket instead of gluing it down as a gift card holder so I thought I would do something uh, change it up and do something a little different I just want to glue all around the, the two sides and the bottom is what I want to do I don't want to glue nothing on the top because then the card wouldn't fit in there and then this way you could put um, a little gift card in there too and I'm just going to line this up on here and put this down put it over there okay so right now it looks like this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a bow I got um, 500 bows for I think it was three or four dollars off of eBay so check that out cheaper than buying them at the store and I'm going to use a little bowl here you can glue the flaps down or leave them loose I might even put a little curl on mine maybe a, a little curl there straighten them back out. It's just really thick because I doubled up the paper. I think, I'll, I think I'm going to put a little dab of glue there to hold it in place that way it don't come up and get caught. I think this will fit a 6x6 um, a six six envelope. If you got a punch board you can make a 6x6 six six envelope. I'm going to put some uh, little beads down here. Let me see. I'm going to put a little strip down the middle. Look like kind of like buttons. I'll put one on each collar. These are really quick and fast cards. Um, here's my bow. And just glue my bow a little bit here. And then this way too, let me find something that'll fit in here. This will even, um, you can put a card in here you know, and a little uh, gift card. I think it'll fit. It will lay down this way too so that you don't, you can leave it stick up a little bit so that you don't cross out your uh, your sentiment on there and make it and turn this into a gift card too or just leave it and re regular card Then you open it up and you could put another piece of cardstock here that's white if you want or um, you can turn around and um, leave it and just do it that way. Like I got a piece here that I'm going to put inside. So let me just do this real quick. So now that you have your card and a sentiment, you know, an area to put your sentiment. So I hope you like that card and try it. It's really easy. It'd be fast. I'm going to do that one, I think, with the kids for seeds. I have some other cards that are from the Silhouette Cut File. There are ice cream cards. I thought um, we'll do these next month and towards the end of school and have an ice cream party along with the, the card. And then um, a couple of these that are for the kids that are moving up to us 
at uh, junior high or middle school. Yeah, junior high. They call it middle school here. Junior high. Um, I'm going to make some of these and I'm going to put um, congra uh, happy graduation or congratulations or something on it for them. And these, this was um, from a silhouette cut file too. So I hope you enjoyed my cards and thank you very much and have a blessed week.